Hi, this is M Toolworks, and today we will be showing a quick demonstration of the Reference All Home button if you have recently set up your limit switches on your Zen Toolworks machine. So quickly I just want to show you how I have my limit switches set up on my machine and uh, let's go ahead and do that. So this is the Zen Toolworks 7x7 which I'm sure many of you are familiar with and here I have my X limit switch which will come in contact with the moving Z axis there and then I've got the limit switch there in the back corner for the Y table and then lastly I have a limit switch there right on the corner for the Z axis okay and now first I'm going to just display how this reference all home works. So, I'm going to go ahead and hit the button here on Mach 3. And as you'll see, the Z axis will move up, trigger its limit. The Y axis will move all the way back until it hit its it limit. And then the x-axis comes across and finishes up for the last movement there. So essentially what we've done here is completely zeroed our all three axes. And this is important because what this will do is it will reference your zero, zero, zero position um, in the beginning of your, before you start to work on any piece. And uh, you're going to want to probably do this anytime you're you're starting a new project. You opened up Mach three. Um, you maybe the Mach three. You know it doesn't know where the where the axes are. It doesn't know where your tool head is, as opposed to where everything else is. So this is something that you want to kind of get into, get familiar with in before you start your projects. Is to reference all your homes to zero. And what this will do is it'll set it'll reset your machine coordinates back to zero. And even if you've already done this, it's important because if you've lost steps anywhere in maybe a previous project or an axis has been moved while the machine was off, it's important to get back to your zero, zero, zero position. And that way your soft limits, if you do have them set up, will work properly. So lastly, I'm going to show you just how I performed that on Mach 3. So in here... What I'm going to do first is jog around a little bit. And get to a random position here and just display how I was able to perform this, uh, this stop. So, First I want to just show you that I do have all my limit switches set up and I'll go ahead and display that here. So if you keep an eye on these boxes right around this area, you'll see what happens. I'm going to push the X stop and we see that M1 home lights up. I'm going to push the Z stop, M3 home lights up, and then the Y, M2 home lights up. So our limit switches are set in place and I'm calling these limit switches but Really, these are homing switches. Um, they can be used as both, but right now we're using them as homing switches. So, let's go ahead and get back to the program. And this button right here, this reference all home button, is what button you're going to use. And by just simply clicking on this button here, it's going to take us all the way back to zero. Now, what you're seeing now are our the coordinate system that we're using, a reference coordinate system, but if we go ahead and click machine coordinates, you're actually seeing what's really happening. And uh, what, what's happening is, is when those limit switches are switched, it's taking us back to zero on every axis. And that's where you want to begin before you start working. Um, and that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully something you're able to learn from. Uh, if you have any questions, just send us an email and we'd be gladly to answer it. 
Check out the wiki on the uh, limit switch wiring that was just recently posted for the Geekers uh, TB6560 board and it explains mostly how to set up uh, the limit switches like I have them set up here. Thank you.